Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft survival series. This is the this is episode 25 and as some of you probably know we're gonna be fighting the Wither. Now keep in mind this is the first time I've ever done this. So shut up zombie, this isn't about you. Sorry, <laughs> mobs. Hey. Whew, here goes. Oh, so exciting. Crap, forgot my potion. Wait. Ow! Where is he? Where's where is he? Where's he at? Where'd he go? Damn it. Where is where are you? Wait, you're up there? Somewhere? Damn it, I lost him. Where is that stupid thing? Where is he? Ah, oh, crap, I didn't bring any food. Okay, now, now he's immune to the bow. Now I can use my, my sword. Ugh. Okay. Putting knock on this thing may not have been the best idea. What? What? Oh, there, you're, you're over there. Second, stop it, weather. Hey, that weather really is cool. Ah. Okay, where'd it go? It's still over here. Ah. Shoot. Um. Here. Oh. Food, 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 food. Ah, easy. Ah, oh, there you are. That world really helps for. <gasps> yes, I did it. Go away, zombie. Jeez, zombies, get all of you. Oh, I better back away. Oh, I did it. Oh, that was rough. Go away, zombie. Get, sheesh, get. Oh, oh my gosh, this place is such a mess. Oh, this cave. Ugh. Okay. That was... Okay, no. Okay, my torch drill's gone. Um... How do I get out of here? I still have most of my potions left, too. And some other other stuff um okay I'm gonna cut the video real quick find my way out of this cave and I'll be back when I'm out Holy cavernous! Is that more dripstone? Is that the same dripstone cave? No, that's a different emeralds. Okay, looks like I was underneath underneath a mountain. Cause there are emeralds here. 
check that out. And it's right next to... Oof, I better be really careful. It's right next to a crap ton of dripstone. I'm gonna grab those. Don't die. I knew they made emeralds more frequent. Where'd those go? Oh, my inventory's full. That's one emerald. Where's the other one? Shoot, did I lose it down there? Where is the other emerald? Because there were two emeralds. Um... No, really, I have no idea where that second animal landed. There's a bunch of copper down there, too. Is that another... No, that's copper. Of course, when I don't need copper, it shows up in abundance. But back when I was building the ore display room, when I actually did need copper, had an easier time finding diamonds than copper. I don't know what happened to those other two diamonds. I think they may have been destroyed when the wither was like, I don't know where it was. Not sure what happened. Okay, we're back at the surface now. So it's not like it matters. Okay. No clue where I am. But that was the that was over faster than I expected, to say the least. Uh, oh, there's a village over there. That's actually a good sign. That that means my portal could be. Here somewhere. Only got one emerald out of that. Is the other one? Don't know where the other one went. Yeah, there's a vil. There's the. Okay, I'm in the right place. Okay. I think we can just head. Is it over here? Is it this way? surface but I have no clue where my portal is. Is that it was that weird bridge looking thing. But oh never mind. There it is. I can't believe that fight took me underneath a mountain. That is actually surprising. But, yeah, we're going to head back to the base and craft our first beacon. Okay, we're back. And rather than three weather skulls and four soul sand, we have another star. And very heavily damaged um, armor. So, do I have an item frame anywhere? 
don't think so. I just, I just have to make another one. My inventory is full of random stuff. in here for now. I didn't expect to ever get any of these in a survival world. But this is probably the world that I progressed the furthest in. I honestly really thought I was going to die during the weather fight, but luckily it got to it seems to have been distracted by other mobs. The only problem is when I was trying to look for, oh my god, my durability, look for the thing, I was losing my patience and I thought I was going to have to start over because I would have, it would have ended up like escaping or something. Fortunately, the deep plate seems to have held it in place at least a little bit. Not really. It should have picked. In hindsight, I should have picked a smaller cave for that fight. Because fighting in a cheese cave... It's probably not the smartest idea. Now that I think of it, after the fact... But... Um... Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, my, my helmet and my leggings are gonna break if I don't um, do something. I'm going to craft the beacon, don't worry. But for now, I'm just gonna hang this nether star up in here. My sword is pretty much undamaged. So I'm going to mine up all the ancient debris that I currently have in my storage room and I'm going to smelt that and hope that it repairs everything at least most of the way. Cause I have- what the heck was that? What was that? That was weird. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. That was. Uh, Alright. But yeah, let's mine up all this. And smelt it all. Normally I'd save it until I have like at least 36 of these so that I could make a block of netherite. But since I already have one, I don't really need to make another one yet. And since I do have a lot of iron, I think this is going to be an iron beacon. Yeah, I'm gonna smelt this. You're up some lava. I don't know what that sudden damage was. That was really weird. If this doesn't work, do I have any quartz left? No, I ran out of quartz. Crap. Um, but yeah, let me throw these potions in here. Not not in here. In here. Turns out I was a little bit over prepared. 
I used the potion of instant health, but not the um any and a potion potion of strength, but as for the rest of the potions, I thought I would need them, but I didn't. I'm surprised that fight was over as fast as it was. This is gonna take a while. Because they took away our XP farms. Yes, I'm still a little upset about that. Especially in instances like this where your gear is about to break. And you don't exactly have a replacement. Um, I'm gonna have to head into the nether and grab a crap ton of quartz. Since that seems that seems to be my best option, because this probably isn't didn't do much, did it? Not really. That's a bunch of bunch of baloney. I'm gonna throw that in there for now. But since that weather fight was so short. Um, I'm figuring, okay, let's just head into the nether, um, grab as much quartz as we can, just, I'm not even going to silk touch it, I'm just going to fortune it on the spot, because I really need to repair my stuff. So, oh, don't step in the fire. Okay, let's head over to the nether. Um, yeah, I looked a lot of quartz completely unattended in the nether mine. I just kind of left the ores there. I didn't move them. I just left them, but over time I kept grabbing more and more ores. So. <gasps> Sorry. So I don't know how many ores are left. I'm sorry for any, um, if there were any swear words that slipped out, I apologize. If they did pick up and know in the audio, um, if I manage to censor them somehow, I will. If I figure that out. Is that quartz? No, that's soul sand. Yeah. Yes. What? I did barely anything. And that's super annoying because all my gear has mending on it for a reason. It was in preparation for situations like this. I don't want to waste an ingot. Because I had to do that already. Last time I brought my silk touch pickaxe down to very low durability. It was really close to breaking. So. Came in here, started gathering quartz. And it still took like an hour to mend the stupid thing. Okay, we're making some progress for 
Vulnerability. As it currently stands, in terms of mending, you actually do want as much nether quartz as you can possibly gather. If anything, just leave it in your mind. Just rem remember where it is if you can for situations like this because you don't want your armor to break. Especially if you're like me and you don't really make replacements because enchanting a second set would take forever. Especially now that XP farms are pretty much a dead concept. Unless you count guardian farms, which I heard are pretty good. Even on bedrock. But I've never tried making one. Even then, I haven't even found a monument. Like, given what I've done in episode... I think it was 23 I killed the ender dragon. Yeah, 23, and then now... Other guardians will be a piece of cake. Oops, you don't want to fart to nether quartz. Not nether quartz, nether gold. Nether gold, you want to soak, touch, smelt it, get a full ingot. Oops. Okay, where's that water that I just got? There it is. How are we doing? Almost there. Yeah, so another quartz is your best bet for mending purposes. If you have a decent stash that you stash, not what I said before. If you have a decent stash of another quartz that you don't want to use for building, use it for mending. That is your best bet to keep your gear from breaking, especially after a fight like what I've just been through. But yeah, there's one last. I just want to make absolutely sure that it's completely full, like durability wise, close. The stuff on the floor should finish this off. I got some good levels going. Is that? No, I'm so sad. I thought it was ancient debris. If only, right? But all right, let's dig out of here. So, okay, looks like we're set in terms of like, okay, we're stacked on quartz for quite a while. Is that? No, that's not ancient debris. I keep thinking I'm finding ancient debris when it's not uh, ancient debris. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry I had to push the wither fight back so much, but that was because I was having a lot of trouble getting wither skulls until the other day when I got a couple in the span of a few minutes. But... Now that, we're, now that my gear is fully fixed, I'm going to head back to the overworld. Come to think of it, I could have just grabbed a quartz that was over there. Not over, over there. What? How do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. Alright. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Crap, I forgot to mute before doing that. Whatever. Um. So, maybe in around episode... Episode 30, I think. I think I'm gonna do a second, uh... No, not episode 30, because that's too soon. Um, probably around episode 40? 40? I'll, episode 40, I'll do another... I'll do another wither fight. And 
that's quite a while into the future. That gives me plenty of time to head back to the fortress and gather more wither skeleton skulls without having to record it. Is trying to record it is what most likely ruined episode 24, which was an absolute disaster. But now that that is out of the, now that both the weather fight and repairing my gears out of the way, I'm damaging my boots again by walking on this. But it is ever so slightly faster than a minecart. So I think it's slightly faster. Alright, let's craft that beacon, because we earned it. It was a very well-earned uh, beacon, despite me not, even, not being able to keep an eye on the wither in the beginning. I didn't expect the cave to be that dark. that in there. There's another wreck in there. Holy crap, that's a lot of... Almost a stack of quartz blocks to repair my gear, but that was from... That was with me using a Fortune 3 pickaxe. So it's kind of to be expected. So much quartz. I'll smelt that later. Right now, however, five glass, three obsidian. First beacon. I will put this on top of a beacon pyramid once I get that built. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so oh, oh, why is it flickering like that? That was really weird. Why that happened? How long does it take to break? Holy crap, that takes such a long time. Even with an efficiency 5 military pickaxe, wow. Alright. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you. Oh crap. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and you would like to see some more of this very, very terrible, admittedly very terrible survival series. Be sure to be sure to subscribe. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for thank you once again for watching. And I will see you in episode 26. Which will be uploaded on Monday. Due to my new only Monday and Friday schedule. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. S subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next episode.